Hi guys, so let's talk about polymyositis and dermatomyositis in this video. Uh, so polymyositis is nothing but poly, multiple muscles, My, myo is muscles and itis is inflammation. So multiple muscles are inflamed. Whereas dermatomyositis is nothing but polymyositis plus skin manifestation. So it's the same as polymyositis in terms of muscle weakness plus there are other skin manifestations as well. So that is dermatomyositis. So both of these conditions are autoimmune and will have certain antibodies. Uh, so the first one we are going to talk about is polymyositis where uh, there is a muscle weakness, okay, weakness in your proximal muscles. So as you can see in this image, proximal muscles as in your neck, uh, the upper arm, the proximal upper arm muscles, uh, your pelvic girdle, the proximal lower limb muscles, all these are affected. So when the patient is trying to you know get up from a chair where he has to use his uh, pelvic girdle muscles uh, or climbing steps and also when the patient is doing other activities such as involving his proximal upper limb muscles like combing hair or lifting objects like this then the patient will have difficulty he'll have weakness because of weakness there'll be difficulty all right so uh, the investigations the first investigation we do is serum creatine kinase because there is muscle inflammation this will lead to increased creatine kinase because muscle whenever it is inflamed uh, creatine kinase increases and uh, there will also be an increase in ldh and aldolase and we do an electromyography to see what is what exactly is happening with the muscles all right and the most definitive test is muscle biopsy Okay, which will show inflammation occurring. Uh, the most, the one of the most specific tests or the antibodies associated with this sy syndrome, with this disease, is anti jo So you can remember it as Po anti jo All right, or Puja, which is an Indian name. If any of you are is familiar with the name, you can remember it as that as well. So Po and Jo will be the antibodies. Uh, the treatment will be steroids because there is inflammation. Uh, my itis right so that is inflammation the st so steroids will be the first line treatment uh, so just remember about the differential diagnosis here which is the main takeaway here so uh, there is uh, a lot of confusion between myositis and my polymyalgia in terms of clinical features all right so as the name says uh, here algia polymyalgia so in polymyalgia there will be more pain all right not weakness i mean there will be some some weakness but the pain will be the dominating dominating symptom and uh, whereas in myositis where there is the inflammation the inflammation leads to muscle weakness more than pain there will be weakness so if it, if the patient is talking more about weakness then that will be polymyositis if the patient is talking more about pain that will be myalgia polymyalgia rheumatica all right uh, also ck will be elevated in myositis because there is inflammation going on whereas it will be normal in polymyalgia because there is no proper i mean it is not just about muscle inflammation so ck will be normal and if you see esr esr will be slightly elevated in uh, myositis but will be very much elevated in case of polymyalgia rheumatica all right so this is polymyositis so to talk about dermatomyositis, we need to know what the dermatol, that is the skin manifestations. First of all, muscle weakness, like I said, will be very similar to uh, polymyositis. Proximal muscles are affected. The skin manifestations will be heliotrope rash, Gautron's papules and shawl rash, shawl sign. So heliotrope rash is nothing but there is this purple colored discoloration above the eyelids and there is very orbital swelling, edema, all right. So uh, this discoloration you can see here that is and the edema you can see around the eyes that is that is heliotrope rash. So uh, so you can just remember it as he heliotrope for I mean just remember imagine a helicopter and uh, you watch you look at the helicopter with your eyes right you just you know uh, the helicopter goes from above your uh, head and you look at it with your eyes right so you can just remember heliotrope heli heli helicopter associated with eyes and above the head so therefore you know upper eyelids all right and the next one will be gotron's papules so uh, if anybody is familiar with got that is game of thrones or ron ron from harry potter there is some violence included right there is some violence involved which leads to fist you know uh, bombs and all right punching and all of that 
so uh, you can just remember it as you know these these extensors uh, being you know bruised kind of things okay so these red scaly rashes around the around your extensor so you can also see it here over your elbows right uh, so elbows are also extensors the you know hands are also extensors the, the dorsal surface so these scaly rashes the red ones are called gotton's papule papules and the last one is shawl sign so in shawl sign you know what a shawl is right shawl is something that you you know uh, cover around cover over your neck right so uh, this rash around the neck this reddish discoloration is nothing but shawl sign so uh, to investigate again it is very similar to uh, polymyositis because there is muscle inflammation therefore the ck will be elevated along with that ldh and aldolase will be elevated you'll do an electromyography to see what is happening with the muscles and muscle biopsy is the most confirmatory test okay and ana so ana is a anti nuclear antibody which is positive in many autoimmune conditions in almost all autoimmune conditions all right uh, and the treatment for this condition would be steroids again because there is inflammation going on and sun blocking agents will be given to the patient just to you know reduce this uh, these skin manifestations already there is a lot of skin manifestations occurring so just to reduce that a little bit we give them sun blocking agents as well so again like i said the differential diagnosis is very important here so just go through this all right thank you